Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we're gonna do something very, very interesting. I have no idea why I didn't make a video about this earlier, but I think now is also a very interesting time to do this comparison, Nick Walker versus Nixilla Rubial Mosquera. Now these two guys have a lot of similarities. They are the biggest freaks, the biggest mass monsters in the IBB today. And none of them have great structures, but they have a lot of freaky body parts, a lot of freaky muscle, so it's gonna be very interesting, it's gonna be fun doing this video. As you guys know, Nick Walker competed recently at the New York Pro, where he won, but it wasn't exactly a convincing win. He almost lost that show, so we are not sure if this guy is even gonna be in the top of the Mr. Olympia if he doesn't fix his biggest issue, his stomach. But in his physique updates, it looks like he's keeping it under control better than he did at a show, and it might be improved, and I also think he's gonna improve muscularity-wise, because he always does, so his physique at the Mr. Olympia stage is, I think, is gonna be better than what we saw at the New York Pro, and as far as Nexilla, well, the last time he competed, it was last year, it hasn't been a year, a full year, but it was last year, at the end of the year, and he's gonna be competing soon, in a couple, of, in four weeks, at a Dubai Pro, and it seems like he improved significantly, I think his chest is crazy big right now, I think his, his upper body basically got bigger, there isn't that much of a difference between his upper and lower body, in my opinion, from what I saw so far, we're gonna see on the stage very soon, but I think Nexilla is gonna be improved, and with all his muscle, with the shape of it, with the conditioning that I think he's gonna bring very good this year, I think he's gonna be one of the top guys, I can definitely see him up there in the top 6, and Nick Walker... I guess, worst case scenario, he's gonna be top 6, but he's definitely way more established, he already placed top 3 the Mr. Olympia, Nexilla only did one pro show so far, but I think Nexilla is that good that he can actually potentially challenge Nick Walker, if there is anybody in the IFBB who can challenge Nick Walker in the mass department, then it's gotta be this guy, it's gotta be Nexilla, nobody is this massive, so these guys, the biggest freaks on that stage, I hope they're gonna stand one next to another, and they're gonna do a comparison, it would be so much fun if they did a two-man call-out to see these two mass monsters compared, but if they don't, in any case, we're gonna do it right here, we're gonna take a look at Nick Walker's New York Pro Edition versus Nexilla at the EVLS Prague show, and so let's begin with the first pose, front double bicep. Now, obviously, Nexilla needs to practice posing more. Hopefully, he fixed it a little. I know he's still mentored by Chris Cormier, so hopefully his posing will be much more smooth. He's gonna change a couple of poses here differently. I think I saw a couple of shots of him doing a couple of poses differently, so I think he's gonna present himself much better this year than last time. And Nick Walker, I mean, he's already perfect in, in presentation. He only needs to control his midsection. So here in the front double, there are a couple of big things we gotta look at, uh, for example, Nick's biggest weakness, aside, of course, from his midsection, are his legs, his quads from the front, which is Nexilla's strong point. He is definitely smoking everyone, literally everyone in the world, with his leg size, but then you look at the upper body and the way his legs flow with his upper body, and it doesn't look very good. Nick Walker looks much more balanced. The wee taper, the way his uh, lats are popping, and the shape and the size of the arms, yeah, Nick is better in that regard, and Nixilla is just standing there, he's flexing his biceps like a 5-year-old kid would flex if you told him to flex, or like a boxer, so this is definitely not really good posing, and it's from his posing routine. I think he did it slightly better in the comparison round, but not that much better. And also, this is Nick's posing routine, and he is doing it perfectly. So, because of the presentation, the posing, and the way he's hitting this pose, even though his midsection is bigger and his legs are smaller, because of the shape of the upper body, arms and lats and so on, I give this one to Nick Walker. Now, we move on to the side chest pose. Both these guys are looking phenomenal in their side poses because they're so thick. There is so much chest-to-back thickness from the side. And also, they both have pretty good details from the side. Now, Nexilla obviously has bigger chest 
Chest is not exactly Nick's strongest point, but it's very detailed, and Nixilla, he has enormous chest, and it's also very detailed from the side. Nixilla's shoulders are a bit of a weakness, and his arms also aren't the best in the front double, but in the side poses, Nixilla's arms are phenomenal. They actually look super massive in the side poses. Lower body, I mean, it's not even a contest, nobody can challenge this guy in the lower body. Hamstrings are hanging low, I mean, so are Nick's, but look at the quads, look at the quad height, and also the size of the glutes. The conditioning also is very much comparable, the details in the quads, in the chest, in the shoulders and the arms. What I don't like about Nick in this shot is that his waist was showing, even in this pose, even in the side chest, and Exila kept it nice and tucked in, and also the way his physique flows, Nixilla's physique, the way it flows, the way it's shaped, the proportions and everything, I prefer Nexilla in this one, so I give side chest to Nexilla. Now they turn to the back, and this is when it becomes very interesting. Now again, like I said before, Nexilla must practice posing, he needs to do his poses better. I think this back double bicep would actually look so much better if he hit it a little bit differently. I think this pose would look better for him if he tucked the hips in, if he flexed the glutes. But I don't know if his back would look this good if he did that, so maybe this is the best variation for him, but I think he should do something differently with his arms, at least. Maybe he can open up a little bit more, I don't think he's too comfortable in this shot, I think he can do it better, but Nick Walker is doing it perfectly. His hamstring separation and glute conditioning is also superior, but simply the, the thickness of the lats, like the mass on the back, Nixilla has more muscle. Not just in the traps, of course, I'm actually talking about the lower back, the lats. Nexilla has a lot of muscle there as well. Again, I don't think he's showing it as much as he could. I think this pose could look better, but he has a lot of thickness there. And arms, again, his arms are good, they're not small. But if he posed a little bit differently, if he lifted those elbows up a little, I think it would just look so much better. But the way it is, right here, I gotta give it to Nick, even though I think Nixilla's back is better, simply because of the way he's hitting the pose, I can't give it to him. And also because of the details in the lower body, hamstrings, glutes, and the shape of the arms. Overall, I gotta give this pose to Nick. Now we go to the lat spread, and this was a really bad pose for Nick last year, but this year it was significantly improved, look at it right now, like he really gained a lot of width in that back, so now it's looking like a proper cobra back, crazy X frame, and again, we have the same thing like earlier in the back double, lower body, much much better conditioning, a lot more details in the hamstrings, overall I think Nexilla brought similar level of conditioning uh, as far as body fat percent, but Nick has that crazy graininess and maturity, especially in the lower body from behind, nobody has hamstrings like that, man, and yeah, I guess his glutes are a little bit leaner, now as far as the back itself, again, I can see, I can see more muscle in Nexilla's lats, but the way Nick is opening up, Nexilla didn't really open up fully, and his lats are a little bit higher inserted, and the same thing as with back double, if he opened up a little bit more, if he hit this pose a little bit differently, and let's say if he was a little bit more conditioned from the back, it maybe would be him who wins this pose, but as of right now, the way it looks, it's definitely Nick Walker. So it's 3 to 1 so far, now we move on to the most muscular pose, Unfortunately, we don't have the video of Nixilla doing it in that posing routine, but I found a different YouTube video, so we can compare it like this, it's a little bit different angle, but you can still get the idea, you can see what are these guys' weaknesses and advantages. So, as far as Nick Walker, the legs are definitely not matching his upper body in terms of size, and Nixilla's legs are ridiculous, as we all know. As far as the upper body, you can see that these guys, both of them, are very muscular, they're extremely freaking massive, and Nick, you would imagine that he would hide his midsection in the most muscular, because he can cover it with his arms, but he wasn't really doing a great job with that, his midsection still looked a little bit too wide, and Nexilla doesn't have that issue. Also, his arms, in the most muscular, are probably looking even bigger than Nick Walker's, when he leaves those arms up and does the front double, they don't look very good, even in the back double, but when they are down, when they are to the side and he flexes them, they actually look super big, 
really round, really full, really freaking massive. His chest is also fuller and bigger, and I think he's bigger overall in stature, so with all of his size in the legs as well, with all this freak factor, in the most muscular pose, he might even look more impressive than Nick Walker. But Nick definitely has a lot more separation, crazy crazy details, so because of that he might actually look even more impressive, but as far as the way they are looking right here, I would still have to give it to Nick Walker even this one, but on that day, on the Mr. Olympia stage this year, I think things may play out a little bit differently. Now, of course, Nick Walker didn't do front lat spread in his posing routine because that is his weakest pose, but I found this photo and Exila, of course, did hit it, so let's take a look. Again, the first thing that pops to my eyes are Nixilla's legs. He's absolutely gonna dwarf Nick Walker in that department. I mean, not just Nick Walker, he can dwarf pretty much anybody, nobody has that kind of legs, nobody ever had this kind of massive legs. And as far as the upper body, Nick Walker just doesn't look that good in the front lat, he improved it, sure, but it's still not his best shot, maybe it would look better if he flags the abs, which I'm sure he tried and figured out that it's not the best way, this is probably as good as it gets, and Exila, he opens up pretty nicely, he could also hit this pose I think a little bit better, maybe if he tilted his upper body a little bit forward, maybe if he pulled his hips back a little bit, there are things he could tweak to make this pose look better, but even the way it is right here, and also with the disproportion, with his own legs dwarfing his upper body, it's the opposite with Nick, his upper body is definitely much bigger than his legs, the only thing here that I would give to Nick Walker is the details in the quads, but it's still not enough if you ask me, I think Nixilla wins this pose, but it's not really a convincing win, Nixilla also doesn't look that great in the front lat spread, I guess these mass monsters, they have a difficult time to look good in this pose, maybe, maybe, I hope so, I hope Nexilla can fix this before the Mr. Olympia and hit it better, maybe it can look better, as far as Nick Walker, this is probably as good as it gets. Next up we got side tricep, and I have no idea why none of these guys hit this pose in their posing routine, I love both of their side triceps, I love the way Nick is hitting it, you know, from the side completely, and his midsection actually looks good in this one, he can really pull it in, and he shows those great big big freaking blocks of abs, and his midsection actually looks great in the side tricep, also the arms are really big, the chest looks very nice from this pose as well, lower body, like in the side chest, also very good, but, but take a look at Nixilla, this is arguably one of the best side triceps ever, I mean, this side tricep is freaking amazing, I don't know if there is anybody, at least today, who can pull a side tricep like this, look at the size of those freaking triceps, man, and he's also pulling the stomach in, Nick Walker is keeping it flat, but Nexilla is actually pulling it in, his chest is also popping more, it's bigger, shoulders are smaller, that's the only thing, but as far as the lower body, it's not even close, man, it's not even a comparison, like, the height of those quads, and also the details from the side, the calves are also looking insane, the glutes are separated enough, and they're also massive, the hamstrings as well, I gotta give this one to Nexilla, he actually looks phenomenal in the side tricep, so that makes it 4 for Nick and 3 for Nexilla, and I understand why Nick Walker didn't hit absent eyes in his routine, but I don't know why Nixilla didn't do it, because this pose also looks very, very impressive, especially because of the size of those freaking legs, maybe they're a little bit too big, at least they were last year, I think the difference is gonna be less noticeable this year, but also he has a great freaking set of abs, and the waist is also not big, I mean, if his lats were popping out more, or if his arms were bigger in this pose, and if his legs were a little bit smaller, it would probably flow better, but again, with the size of these freaking quads, and with this great freaking 8-pack or a 6-pack, whatever, like, it's very symmetrical, the abs are deep, they're cut, there is no separation in the middle, like it is the case with Nick Walker's abs, so... I think this one is not really up to debate, it's, it's an easy pose for Nixilla. So that's a tie, 
that's 4-4 four, four if you go pose for pose. Of course, it's not as simple as that. We're gonna see on the stage what their presentation is gonna look like, how they will conduct themselves on the stage, how conditioned they will be, how good their posing will be, how good their midsection control is gonna be. But this has to be the comparison that I'm most excited about to see on that Mr. Olympia stage. Whatever you guys think about it, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.